She became the face of Arizona's election audit. Now, Senate President Karen Fan announcing she will be stepping down, retiring from the legislature when her current term ends in 2023. So why make the decision now? ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw live at the state capitol getting some insight for us tonight. Zach. Yeah, you know, Steve, political insiders kind of saw this coming. There had been chatter in these halls behind me for months now that President Karen Fan would not continue to preside over the Senate. But to not seek re-election entirely, well, that comes as a shock to people who know just how much power she currently holds. This is not normal. It's not normal for one of the three most powerful people in the state of Arizona to walk away from all that political importance and prestige. It's very intoxicating. It's difficult to give up. But Senate President Karen Fan says she's retiring in January 2023. She says that she's sold her business and she's simply retiring. ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer believes that. I don't think that the, the audit played any part in her retiring. But lobbyist, political consultant, and former Republican lawmaker Stan Barnes says the past year. She's been under a great deal of pressure, a great deal. And he believes it was a factor. The most difficult political circumstance I've seen a Senate president deal with all the way back to the Meekum impeachment. President Fan didn't passively participate in the audit. It is a long process coming. She helped spearhead it. She led the Senate Republicans who issued the subpoena to kick all this off. President Fan's support of it uh, kept it along. Now, with about 13 months left, with that gavel in hand, experts say we'll find out what she's all about. Once someone has decided they no longer need to be there, then they're liberated, they're free. And, and that freedom brings sometimes a whole different kind of, of political action. And while she'll be stepping away from politics, Karen Fan will likely be addressed by Arizonans on the street for years to come. So if you like the audit, thank her. If you don't like the audit, condemn her. But she's the one that, that made all this go. Now, Stan's, Stan Barnes told me between President Fan retiring, all the redistricting changes, as well as a new governor and other elected officials that will be new to these buildings post-2022, he says 2023 is going to look as different one year after another as he's ever seen in Arizona's recent decades. Live tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Zach, thanks. Fan's announcement of her upcoming retirement coming on the heels of a big statement from State Attorney General Mark Brnovich. He says his office is launching its own investigation of Arizona's 2020 election. Following the findings of the months-long audit, it's unclear how far along this probe is and how wide it reaches.